Mission update, Agent Connor Heath. Operation, protect Gisela Kalikos. To a new star. And to my new bodyguard. I'm the only agent responsible for Giselle's safety and the pressure's building. You got your low-level thugs, too numerous to mention. Then there's a specialist, a messenger, a magician. Cordoban enemy number one, Azul, is still at large. What I really want is the key. His endgame, slowly coming into focus. I thought the key was just code for something, but it's a real thing? The key was with us the whole time, but so was an unexpected foe. Hey, Al! I'm sorry. Gisela, I'm so sorry. The Eye of Cordoba. Finally. If I didn't give McGuffin this necklace, she'd just go after Gisela herself. I care about her, you know? Andre's finally out of the picture. Only one relationship to focus on now. He took your things for all the right reasons. You never would have done that. You'd find another way to keep the enemy away from me. What happens when I need to make choices Gisela won't approve of? Agent Heath, signing off. What's going on? The class! It's caught my hair! Oh, right. Well, not my kind of emergency. Connor, come here and help me. Be careful, it's delicate. Okay, okay. Oh. <sighs> I don't know what I'd do if anything happened to this. I know you have an unhealthy bond with your clothes, but what's the deal with the necklace? You wear it a lot. It was my mom's. Oh. And her mom was before that, so I worried to stay close to her, you know. Wow. I had no idea. So you have to make sure nothing ever happens to it, okay? I have to make sure nothing ever happens to you, and that is already a full-time job, plus overtime. Ha, ha. My security detail is a comedian, too. I'm a lucky, lucky girl. Well, kiddo, your luck's about to run out. A president's daughter in need of protection. A dangerous enemy threatening to attack. I'm Connor Heath, and this is the stuff my spy dreams are made of. Only this time, it's for real. In a flash, our lives have changed. There's nowhere to run to. So take my hand now. I'll always be with you. To exceptional valor in the capture of enemy agent codenamed MacGuffin, your security status has been upgraded to Enhanced Top Secret. And my prize is automatic intelligence updates, real-time enemy movement coordinates, and a brand new assignment. Uh-oh. No! Gisela, it's for your own safety. Let me put this another way. No. Gisela, we have to destroy your necklace. The Secret Service have given this a lot of thought. Was one of those thoughts, no? Azul's rich. Tell him to buy his own jewelry. Look, if Azul wants your necklace, he's got to have a reason. Who knows what the enemy stands to gain or what we stand to lose. Out of the question. This necklace has huge sentimental value, Connor. More sentimental value than your neck? Gisela, get off the bed. This isn't funny. Actually, it's a little bit funny. Mostly thanks to your, this isn't funny phase, which is hilarious. <laughs> Ah, gotcha. Connor, no! This is my favorite sweater. Please don't ruin it. It'll be stretched. Please. Okay, I'll give. Okay? I'll give. Okay, necklace. Come on. Until I unbutton it. Ha! Gisella! You can't have it! This isn't over. Hi, Mrs. C. Hi. You two have a good day at school? It's school, Mom. It's a non-stop thrill ride of information. Glad to hear it. Once we drop Lily off at her house, I'm gonna need at least an hour of television to unwind. Possibly two. I'm thinking two sitcoms and a shark documentary. Actually... Actually what, Lily? Didn't you mention yesterday that you needed to uh, pick up some printer paper and lady sport socks? I guess I did. And weren't you also saying that Ty's pretty much outgrown last year's spring jacket? I may have. Why? Well, I couldn't help but noticing that the mall isn't that far out of your way. You could swing by and pick up all those things in one easy trip and bring me home after. But comedy and sharks. Huh. I 
Thanks, Lily. Looks like we're going to the mall. Yes, it looks like we are. Zella, come on. You know I'll find you eventually. I am a government trained person and thing finder. Why didn't I put a GPS tracking dot on that necklace? I put them on everything else. I know the exact latitude and longitude of her yoga mat, but the Eye of Cordoba necklace? No idea. Man, she is one step ahead of me. International House of Annoyance, Connor speaking. Oh, hi, Mom. No, 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 we're just getting some exercise. Um, what's going on? Are you guys stuck in traffic? Stuck is not the word. This highway is a parking lot. Okay, well, you know, me and Gisela will be fine. We can look after ourselves for a couple of hours. Man, is there an accident or something? What's with this traffic? Traffic? Um, <laughs> who knows why traffic is fast or slow? No sense dwelling on something that's out of our hands, I always say. I'll check the traffic report. No! I mean... The radio will interfere with our I Spy game. Let's see, I spy with my little eyes something that is blue. Is it that car right there? Yes, your turn. I spy with my little eyes something blue. Is it that car again? Yep, I'm checking the report. And if you're headed downtown, whoa, I would not want to be you. And all this mess is no accident, folks. Just a surprise appearance at Northtown Mall by team pop star Corey Sandals. Lily? Did you know about this? Okay, I admit it. I love Corey Sandals, and my own mom would have been on to me. So I duped you into taking me to the mall so I could see Corey Sandals on a counter. I love Corey Sandals! I love his music and his voice and his peach fuzz and his knuckles and his knees and his one incisor that sticks out just a little so that you can tell he's a real guy, not some airbrushed. Okay, necklace, where am I gonna hide you? I almost got eaten alive by arachnids for nothing. <sighs> what if I had a new spot? And Corey Sandals gives so much money to charity because he really cares what you can totally get from his music. Corey Sandals is a consummate musician. Did you know he could play the recorder when he was only two? Some people say Corey is a musical genius, and yes, I'm one of those people. <laughs> Mind you, Corey's best feature is his eyes and his voice. And the way his voice sounds when he sings that song about his eyes. What's that song called again? Oh, yeah. Lost in my eyes. <laughs> Did you know Corey likes ice cream? Corey? More like Bory. This snorry. I can't take it anymore. Take it back. Never. Take it back. Never. Take it back. Never. Take it back. Never. Take it never. Back. Never. Take never. Back. Never. 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 Coming up the stairs now. I just want to talk this over. We can work something out. Just come on out. I am not falling for that one. Ah! Yes! Oh, how did you... Connor! Snooze, you lose. You really need to give that back. All right, necklace, it's just you and me this time. Directive straight from the Cordobin Secret Service, destroy the necklace. So, prepare to get busted. Bitty bread, bitty bread, bitty bread. Gotcha. Ha. I don't get it. It's not even a scratch on it. If anything, it looks like I polished it. I am not giving up. I will destroy you. In a minute. I just need a, uh, a break. Oh, who knew operating heavy equipment would be such a grueling workout? Aha! Uh -huh. <gasps> it's 
Snoozy Liz. Drusilla! No playing on the stairs. I'm not playing. Back off, Connor. Never get between a girl and her jewelry. No, you back off. Never get between a government agent and his operational objective. Cute, you may be getting on my nerves, but you're not getting this necklace. No! Seriously, G, just let it go! Two points? Perfecto. It's gonna get washed out to sea. Uh, no, it won't. There's a trap under the pipe, so it's just gonna sit there endangering us all until I get it out. Uh, it'll take two seconds. What's taking so long? I thought you said it would take two seconds. That was two eons ago. Yeah, two seconds with the right tools. Why don't you make yourself semi-useful and go get the stuff from the box that you hid? What stuff? Come on, you hid my tools so I wouldn't smash your indestructible bling. No, I didn't. Except, yeah, you did. You hid my stuff somewhere. No, besides, you obviously know all my hiding places. You don't believe me? Go look for yourself. Where? In the under the stairs creepy crawly space. Perhaps you remember it from pulling it apart earlier today? I didn't do that. There are spiders in there with their skeletons on the outside. <sighs> Got it. Wait, Connor, what's going on here? Are you lying to me? No, you're lying to me. No, seriously. Stay here. Okay, the alarm is supposed to be blinking green when it's armed and red when it's not. What's it doing now? It's not blinking. At all. Gee. Is that your biking glove? Uh-uh. But it looks really familiar. And what dangerous bike riding enemy agent do we know with the skills to disarm the alarm? The messenger. The messenger. And he's in the house. Spy pod. Come on. What are you looking for? My phone. Thought, oh, I don't know, I'd call for help. Good idea. But, Connor? What? You used it before to trick me on the stairs? Uh, that's okay. I have all my gear up here. I can send out a red alert and half court over will surround this house in minutes. Yeah. Oh, phones and their quaint out dated voice communication. Yeah, who needs that? Apparently, we do. What's wrong? All of my messages are being bounced back. Nothing is getting through. It's the messenger. His specialty is communications. And I think I know why he took my tools. The same reason he was in the creepy crawly space? Yep. He's rerouted everything. All of our communications. Now we're trapped up here. With no way to get help. moved for an hour. Okay, I can do this. How does this thing work? Where's the scroller? How do you scroll? I'll say you don't know how to scroll. Boy Sandals could outscroll you with both hands tied behind his beautiful back. Where's the legend on this thing? What do these dotted lines mean? The legend is Cory Sandals. The dotted line is the map from my heart to his. Ah! Can make it right at this tree here. Move along the uh, unpaved road. Cut through the gas station and then follow... Made in 2007. What could very well be a finished roll by now, we'll be at the back of the mall. From there, it's a quick wall scaling and we'll be in the garbage bay. Let's do this. Okay, plan B. The messenger doesn't know where we are, but at least we know where he is. And that is something. How is that something? That sounds like a purse full of nothing to me. Well, I don't know. It just is. It's an advantage. Maybe we can figure out how to play it. Do you think he knows we're watching him? Unless he wanted an audience for that nose pick. Oh, really? Hey, what's he doing? No, 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 don't you dare. Uh-oh, he isn't venturing into sacred Gisela territory, is he? He is, he's going into my room. Hey, take off your shoes, Buster, that is a nice rug. Well, we may not be online, but we still have control of our main systems. 
Do you have an automated air freshener in there? Doesn't everyone? Well, why don't we help the messenger freshen up? <laughs> yes! Taste lavender, loser. And while he's down, let's kick him with some emo. <laughs> He's heading for my dresser. Can you access my automated jewelry carousel? You kidding? I'm wired. Check this out. <laughs> What's he looking at? I think he found one of our security cameras. Oh, he's up to something. Something bad. And he just locked us out entirely. And suddenly he's Mr. Hilarious. He's given up. Wouldn't it be great if our enemies were lazy and easily discouraged? Yeah, not this guy. I have to sneak out there and get my phone back. But how? Right about now, we could really use, like, a Secret Service invisibility suit. That's it? Connor, the hard truth, that's not it. There's no such thing as an invisibility suit. No, but there is. And I've got it right here. Yeah, I can still see you. But not if the lights are off. See, in the dark, he wouldn't be able to see me. But with the night vision, I'll be able to see him. You know what this means? Yeah, you haven't lost it. I am so relieved. It means that with the power out, I'll have the upper hand. I'll get that phone back in no time. Here, take this flashlight. <laughs> I'll be right back. There it is. And there he is. Is that a phone? There you are. Where is she? I said... Where is she? You want to save the girl, give her to me. That doesn't make any sense. How can I save the girl by giving her to you? Are you suddenly a good guy? No, I'm not a good guy. Look at my wardrobe. Well, then. Where is she? Where is the necklace? That's what you want? Yeah. You don't want Giselle anymore. What am I, using too many big words? Yes, I want the necklace. You know, if you would ask me how things could possibly get worse than they already are, I wouldn't have an answer for you. But now, I do. Was that not the most amazing thing you ever saw? The way he wore his shirt? And his eyes connected with mine. And he looked at me like he was welling with emotion. And that's how I knew it was love. True love. And that's why I wrote my phone number on my forehead. For him! I know he's going to cry, I just know it! Okay, everything in life is a learning experience. I just have to remember that. Only, I did learn something. Soothe the savage girl beast. 
Girl, you stole my heart. You stick with Tight. me like a raspberry. You seed. can I'm sing. Retainer. You're the rat in my ratatouille. But we don't like eggplant, do we? If I give you the necklace, what are you gonna do with it? Wear it to the prom. Come on, get work with me. I'm gonna sell it. To who? The enemy? Did they really let you into spy school? Or was it a, a quota thing or something? Here then! Ha! It's mine! What did you do that for? One of my real-time updates. Azul's position lost. So? So? Who do you think this is going to? Azul. Well, don't tell me you... Can't take all the credit. It was your idea. Man, why didn't I put a GPS tracking dot on that necklace? When it lands, it'll be in enemy hands, which means the enemy will be in our hands. But what about the sentimental value? The thing's indestructible. I figure I'll get it back eventually. You know, around the time I get the rest of my life back. Which suddenly got a whole lot sooner.